Hi, Lori Van here, and as we approach a transition in power in America, which is a historical event, because every time there's a new president, it's a historical event. So I wanted to, to provide some of these thoughts for being at peace or to encourage people to seek peace and not hatred. I want to encourage people to make wise decisions and not emotionally based decisions because there's a lot of emotionally based thinking that's going on right now and it's it's propelling hatred and anger and is the exact opposite of peace. I strongly encourage anyone that's thinking of doing ill will or doing something against the law or causing harm to others in some way to really step back and think about is that really advancing your cause or is that really just reinforcing what people think about whatever cause you're standing for in the first place. So some verses, some quotes I want to give you to really consider. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Those that have hate in their heart will be filled with anger and rage, and I have never, ever, in all of my years of counseling people, have I ever seen anger be healthy for emotional relationships or uh, emotional health for relationships and definitely not physical health. Anger is a great emotion. It is a God-given emotion, but you have to use it appropriately. But you should not let anger become hatred. And I fear that so many people in America right now are filled with hatred and they are doing detrimental things to not only themselves, but those around them and the community as a whole. There's another uh, section of verses that I want to reference, and that's, There is one who speaks rashly like the thrust of a sword, but the tongue of the wise person, the wise, the emotionally mature person, brings healing. Don't we all want healing? Don't we all want to feel peace in our lives? You have the decision today and in the next week to be the wise person or be the rash person, the idiot, the one that is destructive, the one that has done nothing to contribute to society. I would implore you to be the wise person. Truthful lips will be established forever. Those that tell the truth, those that seek the truth, they will be established. But a lying tongue is only there for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of those who advise evil. But counselors of peace have joy. And counselor just isn't a mental health counselor. Counselors are also all of us. All of us have the opportunity to bring joy. And no harm before the righteous. So again, I would implore you to make wise decisions, healthy decisions. Try to be a good person in society, a force of good. Spread that love. Spread that positivity. That is the only way to make true and lasting changes in this world. So those that are considering protest, you have the absolute right to protest. That is your right in America. I would ask you to be assertive, not aggressive. Understand the difference. Assertiveness is not emotional. It's not putting down others. It's not disrupting their daily lives. Aggression is the exact opposite. Aggressive people are are ones that are going to interrupt society. They don't speak for whatever the true cause is. They discredit their cause. So don't be aggressive and hate-filled and swearing and name-calling. What good does that do? It just makes you look like an idiot. 
it makes you look like an unintelligent person because all you can do is scream and cuss and put down others. How is that advancing peace? How is that helping in any sort of way? So, do remember and consider some of these verses about peace and being a peacemaker, not a troublemaker. Be led by your heart in good ways and not by evil and not by the crowd that really is just trying to destroy things that are good. So, some thoughts to consider and let's all pray for safety. Let's all pray for a smooth transition. Let's be the Americans that we are supposed to be. And let's be filled with a sense of unity versus trying to destroy one another. Thank you.